Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. I hope you'll stick around, so subscribe to this channel for more vape videos and turn on the bell symbol so you are notified whenever I upload and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Check the description box below for a plethora of important links and fun stuff like where to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you're not already following me on those social medias, you might want to because that's where I do all of my vape giveaways. I don't do them here on YouTube. So all of the extra vape stuff that I have, I give away on my social medias or my Patreon and I do have a link to my Patreon account below as well. Depending on what tier you join, you can get e-liquid or mods sent to you monthly from yours truly. I also have a second YouTube channel where I do non-vape related videos. So if you want to see what else I bring to the internet land, the links will be below. I do chat with you guys directly on Twitter every day. It's the best place to get a hold of me. And I post to Instagram story all day, every day. So the description box is worth a peek, but let's get right into the video. Today I have something from Smoke or Smock or Smack, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't care. I got this g priv baby y'all so like another one of the alphabet mods but this time it's in a little size not much different um i did do a video for the g priv a uh, regular size so let's just let's just see what the baby comes with cute do not eat packet but right now we're not going to focus on the little mod we're going to go right into the goodies we have the quality control card and the authenticity scan code we have a little warning card about battery safety we have a user's manual for the gpriv baby kit we have a micro usb to usb cable we have extra o-rings and gaskets in here we have an extra glass tube for the tank we have the tank which is the tfv12 baby prince tank and it is installed with the v8 baby q4 0.4 ohm coil and that's a quadruple coil and then the extra coil that it has here in the kit is the v8 baby q2.4 dual coil and another do not eat packet I thought I was gonna throw it. Here's a quick up close look at the Baby Prince tank. It does have adjustable airflow slots on the bottom. They're really tight because they're new, but they are fully closable. The 510 connection. This is a very small diameter tank. I'm not sure I'll pop it up on the screen somewhere because I don't know right now. We have a removable drip tip at the top. And to fill it, you just push this little button. You see a little protruding and you swivel in the direction that it says, which is this way you fill in that little slot avoiding the center but you can also see the little arrow tells you which way to swivel the knurling on this tank does look like kind of like a crown because it is the prince tank and it is installed with a bubble glass right now to change the coil you do take the base off let's see if i can get it because sometimes when they're brand new they're really hard to spin but you can just take the base off and then you unscrew the coil from the base. I'm not gonna mess with it because it's tight, but then there is the coil in there. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my tank today with Cloud Kiss, no surprise there. This is a strawberry cake batter flavor. It's my flavor. You can get it at bonsaivapor.com. You can use my code TIA20 for 20% off. It is available in these super cute 100 milliliter bottles at 0, 3, 6, or 12 milligrams nicotine. And it is a 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol blend. So I do have this tank filled up. Now I'm gonna let the wicks set why I tell you a little bit about the G Priv baby. First and foremost, if you're new to my channel, this is one of my favorite parts. Oh, the peeling. And they've recently started putting ones on the back too. So where is the little tab for peeling the back? OMG. So shiny guys, shiny, shiny. And I'm just gonna do it now because there fingerprint this is a fire button here on the side and we have a screen locking button right up here as well on the bottom is the usb port on the top is the 510 connection as well as this little protruding battery cap that you spin off to stick an 18650 battery down in there and you can can you see it's kind of hard to see on camera there's a plus down there and a minus on the cap so you know which direction to put the battery right, i've got a battery in there and it did say smock or smoke. And it does have battery prompt warnings, battery too high, which is the voltage is too high, battery too low, which is the voltage too low, and PCBA too hot, battery is too hot. The G Priv is 72 millimeters by 51 millimeters by 29.2 millimeters. And then the tank has a diameter of 28 millimeters to sit on here nicely. So we'll go ahead and just screw that on. Here's the setup, it actually looks really freaking nice. In TC mode, it can go from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and you should go no lower than 0.05 ohm with a coil on here. Five clicks turns it on. 
There we go, now it's on. And here is the display screen, G-Priv Baby. Here we go with the display screen. It shows the battery life, a seconds counter, the output level and the output mode, as well as normal, soft, or hard for your vaping preference, a puffs counter, an amp amperage meter, voltage meter, and ohms reader. If you click menu, you can see that there is the variable wattage mode, TC mode, screen, or puffs. So if you click TC mode, you can click titanium, nickel, or stainless steel and you can click it on or off at the top. And then it also has TCR settings that you can adjust as you would like. Back to the menu, you can push the screen. You can change the screen timeout seconds or the screen color. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change it for fun. And when you click variable watch mode, you can turn it on or off. You can set the preheat ramp up or normal soft hard or max. To change the watch, you just use the touch screen. And you press and hold. The G Priv Baby goes all the way to what, 80? No, 85. It goes all the way to 85 watts. And this coil can perform between 30 and 65 watts. So I'm just gonna do 55 because that's where I've been vaping recently. And if you press the screen lock button once, it turns off the screen or turns it on. If you press and hold, then this little lock button appears and it is locked so you can't adjust the screen. But you can still fire the G Priv Baby even if the screen is locked, that's just so you can't mess with the touch screen. The flavor is coming through nicely. I'm not getting any dry hits, even though I'm chain vaping it like a mofo. Look at all of the, <laughs> the vapor. It's like messing up my camera, oh my gosh. The G Priv Baby is a powerful little beast. And to turn it off, you push the fire button five times. And then you click yes. But there isn't much more to this video. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below what you think of the G-Priv Baby. You can get it at directvapor.com. That's where I got mine. It is a nice little compact device and packs a powerful little punch. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.